All right, welcome back to Distracted Nerd Gaming. We are continuing Shadowrun, and I know it's pretty early on, but I think we're gonna do uh, have a little goose and run. Haven't done one in a while. Oh shit! Yeah, hit the wrong button. So, oh shit! So I think uh, what I will do is I will. I'll probably talk about and then rank the the games that I've done so far on this channel. I mean, not rank them, but at least talk about them, see which ones I liked and which ones I did not. So, yeah, the very first game I played was Willow for the regular Nintendo. I'd never even heard of that game before I started this channel. And it, it wasn't bad. It definitely, you could see its influences in... And mainly Legend of Zelda, even though I think Willow came out first. But, like, just barely. But, yeah, it was... Oh, shit. Yeah, it was, uh... It was not bad. There was some unfair stuff. And it had a really weird and low level cap. Which I did not like. Give me unlimited leveling. That's all I want. And it was easy to get lost. Like, I had to finally just use a map by the end because I just, I didn't know where I was. How much karma do I have? One and 270 bucks? Oh yeah. I should probably save my game. All right. Yeah, do I just have the one? Can I use it? Computer. Eh. And magic I can't do anything on. So... Yeah, I don't know, we'll just save. So yeah, Willow was decent. I'll never play it again. <laughs> but I can say that I have, I can say that I beat it, and it was it was fine. It just had a lot of weird stuff that I don't know. Kind of soured. Now we're the whole experience. Uh, and let's see. Next, I played Rygar, which, holy shit, that game, I first played, we had it for the regular Nintendo, but seven-year-old me would have told you that was the hardest game that ever was created. And then when I played it again, yeah, it was actually pretty easy. You can level up in that game, I had no idea. You can level up pretty decent amount like for the game like the level cap was low but it was like enough for what you needed but yeah that's probably another one that I, I won't play again because I've done it I don't really need to do it I don't have time <laughs> I'm going to replay a game it's going to be a game that I've replayed already like 20 times and still have never beat like Skyrim or Grand Theft Auto 5 Or Morrowind. Or Oblivion. Anything with Elder Scrolls or open world. Yeah, like I've tried Red Dead Redemption 2 several, several times. And I should like it. But I don't know, I just can't, can't get into that damn game. I'm on no one here. And it's one of those where... <laughs> There's just almost too much to do. Like, I need some focus. And then, like, even when I do something, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Like, I would go to my camp. Oh, shit. Where did the sound go? All right, we'll see what happens when I... Okay, there it is. Yeah, like I would go back to my camp and yeah, you'd have the option to give your stuff to the camp, donate to the camp, give it to the butcher guy or sell it in town or something. I, I don't know. I was like, am I doing the right thing? I have no idea. 
and yeah and like the save option like you would save and then when you would go back i just have no idea where i was or what was really saved i had to do anything again like it was just no no not for me Shit. okay get him get him So yeah, I may never make it to Red Dead Redemption on this channel. Probably the... I mean, I'll try to do newer games, but... Probably ones that... Like, match the... The feel of this channel. Like, maybe that new Robocop game. Rogue City. I did Texas Chainsaw Massacre on here, but I just... I don't like that kind of game. That... Uh... Four on one type thing. I just suck at it. I got five karma. Oh shit, I need to save. Okay. Alright, how much? I got 500 bucks. Yeah, so I think... I'll get, hell, oh shit, I'll save, and then I'll get, I'll raise my body karma, or whatever they call it. <laughs> they probably don't call it Bobby, body karma. Use. Alright, so attributes, yeah, so body. What is strength? Can I use melee weapons eventually? And I don't know what the computer skill for yet. Probably nothing yet. Yeah, this also give me like ASX vibes, which that is a game I definitely will play on this channel because oh man, that game was so much fun. I got pretty far in it, but yeah, I never, I never beat it. But yeah, I remember. I think I rented it first. I think I did eventually. No, maybe I didn't buy it. Can I not? Okay, I probably gotta get closer. Damn, yeah, it'd be nice if it had like an auto lock where. Oh man, four? Nice. Alright, so yeah, like, will it give me more hits if I hit him in the head? Or does none of that matter? Yeah, so I get money pretty quick. And win. Yeah, Deus Ex is... But I would probably have to play it on the PlayStation again, because I have it for the computer, but... I don't know. I, that's not my kind of game to play with a mouse. Like, I need the controller. Uh, Actually, I'm looking up strength real quick. Okay, so strength. Uh, strength level controls which weapons and armor you're able to use. Although you can carry any type of weapon or piece of armor, you can only use a weapon or wear a type of armor if you have enough strength to do so. I don't think I need that yet and I've only got the one piece of armor if I won't have well I don't know how uh, what else can I so four for body how much for my firearm boom all right I probably should have saved but I'm all right I've got I'm getting to a point where those dudes won't Unless I get really stupid and I don't. Okay. Do. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That still seems to take an awful lot of hits. Okay, got karma and only one dude. All right.
Police Quest, the VGA version, not the type it in shit version, even though the typing version was the first one that I had played back in the day. Okay, that sucks. I can't get them from there. But yeah, like the typing version was... It was fun back then because that's all we knew, but yeah, trying to go back to that now... Ugh. No thank you. But like when I get to the Quest for Glory series, I'm gonna have no choice on the second game because that one I think only has the... And I'm sure there's a name for it, not the typey version. <laughs> But, yeah, like, everything else has a, you know, the point-and-click style, but, son of a bitch. But yeah, Quest for Glory 2 does not, so I've beaten all the Quest for Glories except 2 because of that. Like, I don't know, I just don't have... I gotta go back and just learn what the computer wants to hear. What prompts it knows. But I mean, it takes long enough in a point and click game if you don't know what you're doing, like click around and everything. Like for a game where you have to type, ah, gross. And is that something? That is not something. Right, what do I got? Two karma and six forty money. That is so money. Uh, shit. Hold on, I gotta focus on this dude. He doesn't kill me. Alright, yeah, sometimes it seems like I'm hitting them more. But yeah, other times it's... Oh, shit. I need to save my game. And am I wearing my sunglasses? Oh, my... Okay, so I raised my body and my hit points went up. Nice. Uh, yeah, and it said strength measures your stamina or how quickly your stamina regenerates, but I'm like, I don't have any stamina, so I don't know what they're talking about with that. Uh, let's see, shades. I'll just put these on. Okay. Did it do anything? <laughs> nope. Uh, they might be children's shades. They're uh, a little close together. Alright. So, yeah, I played Police Quest. It... It was not like I remembered. <laughs> like... And it wasn't as point-and-clicky as other point-and-click games. Like, yeah, you clicked on stuff, and you picked stuff up, but... You didn't really use it with anything. Like, I want to use an item. I want to pick up a plunger and then have to find a clogged toilet and use plunger with clogged toilet. I, that's not an actual example from a game. At least I don't think so. None that I've ever played. But, yeah, it was... Uh, and you had to, like, no actual police codes and shit. And if you, like, did a traffic stop wrong, you could lose the game. And you were always getting murdered for just, like, the dumbest thing. Yeah, like there was one traffic stop where I just kept getting killed over and over and over again because I just... All different kinds of things. It sucked. But I think... Well, I don't know about 2 and 3, but I know that this quest 4, I think at least, is more... I think it's more point and clicky than, than the others. Yeah, because I've... And then... Then you got Police Quest SWAT, which is... Just awful. Just god-awful. <laughs> like, you have to go to sniper school. Like, you have to go to an actual school. And, like, take tests and shit. Like, it, that game was awful. Shit. Yeah, maybe pushing it here. I can just get rid of this dude. There we go. I should be fine. Nice, and I got karma. Damn it. Doing that. But yeah, Police Quest SWAT would be... It'd be fun on this game. It's not fun in real life. But yeah, it might be interesting on this channel. 
Alright, what do I got? Five karma. And 800 money. What'd I say I was going to do? Six karma. Uh, body. Uh, what do I need for my firearms? Hmm. You know what? I'll do my firearms. And then I will get three more karma. Build up my body. And that should be... That should be a good good spot for this. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? I played Act Razor. Uh, that is a game that I will never play again. <laughs> and an interesting concept, but yeah, it just... I don't know. It's... It, it needed more, I guess. Like, there was an interesting idea there, but... Yeah, like the overworld part, which I liked at first, was just... It just got... Tedious as all hell. And then, yeah, the freaking boss section. We have to fight all the bosses again sucked. Of course, I just played Mega Man. Uh, and I'm just going to say it. Uh, I don't like that little thing that games do. Where they make you fight all the bosses again in order to win. Uh, it's cheap. And I hate it. And I hate your stupid face if you do it. So yeah, I'll I'll never play Act Razor again. And I don't really want to play Act Razor 2 because they got rid of the overworld altogether. I'm like, fix the overworld part. And fix the dumb eat every boss. Yeah, because just like Mega Man, like I could beat the bosses no problem in like the main part of the game. Like super easy in the main part of the game. And then all the all those strategies, which and having have strategies, you can just like firebomb the hell out of them. But then you can't do that in the last freaking fight. Ah, oh, it's just so stupid. Yeah, it'd be nice if I just got the money instead of having to go over and pick it up. But I got yeah, 190 bucks. Not too shabby. So yeah, I'll never play Act Razor. Ever again. And it wasn't a wasn't a bad game, but it's just it's not worth playing again. And then uh oh god. Speaking of never playing again, I <laughs> played Faxanadu, which or Fasanadu, I don't know. And man, some people love that game. And more power to you if you do. I did not. And again, it's it's probably a me problem. In fact, it's always, it's always a me problem. It's me. But yeah, I just could not. I mean, I, I just kept on getting lost, and yeah, I, I was not a fan of Fexanadu. I'll never play that again. Noise. What? I just need one more. Oh, actually, I don't. How did I get all that karma already? All right, I'll get, I'll get two more karmas. Yeah, and I'm, I'll probably end up doing goose and off camera just for hours just grab some beers put some music on and just zone the hell out like that's what i need like so i love games like this just let me do this for hours i don't care i'll do it my karma yeah i'll get one more karma uh let's see what else did i play oh shit shining force I will play that game again. That game was... Yeah. Oh no! I wasn't paying attention! Alright, so... Yeah, this is one of the reasons why... I've avoided streaming so far. <laughs> I get distracted, and I just lose track of everything. And then, but now... Since it's on YouTube, with the power of editing... We can get almost right back to where we were. Do 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 Okay, so besides about 70 bucks less, we are pretty much where we were before. So let's continue. Alright, so where the hell were we? So yeah, I've discovered what a few of these stats mean. Anyone else in here? No. Okay, so 
yeah, the body. It determines my HP. And so when I earlier it said that uh, my stamina would start to regenerate, uh, stamina is my life, basically. I don't know why they don't just call it life. So when I, my body is at seven, my stamina will start to regenerate, which that is key. That'd be awesome. And then charisma, that determines how many shadow runners can work for you at any one time. So you can hire shadow runners and they'll just fight with you, which is awesome. And then magic, obviously, is for when I get spells. And when my magic is at eight points, then my then my spell points begin to regenerate. So yeah, okay. So when I have my magic up, then it'll be like my HP. So it'll be like that. So it'll start to regenerate. And then strength determines which weapons and armor I can use. So some have required strength. So yeah, it's all right now. This is uh. It's ticking a lot of boxes for me. I And I didn't even realize I have like there was like three Shadowrun games that they released for the computer not too long ago. And I, I have them. <laughs> I mean, I don't know I don't know where I got them from, but that's true of almost every computer game I have. I probably have over a thousand computer games that a lot of the times, like, they're just free. Like GOG or Steam or Epic. Epic, they gave away, like, a free game every month. Like, all those things I wish I had when I was a kid. I don't really need free games now. It would have been awesome to have them then. Oh, so yeah, I must have picked up all three of those Shadowrun games. So, yeah, I will definitely, definitely play those. And was there... I feel like there was a Shadow Run 2. That might have to look that up. Okay, there is not. There was the next one was the Shadow Run Returns, which I did play. That was the uh, Xbox one, which I thought was a cool concept for a first-person shooter. I don't know why they didn't finish that. And then yeah, then the Shadow Run games that I have for. I know it's apartment seven. And apparently this was a, a tabletop role-playing game. And there's books and comic books about this. Man, I might have to get into the world of Shadowrun. I feel like I kind of like this, uh, this modern, like futuristic RPG style because the fantasy style it's fine but I noticed that I I cannot retain any names or places with the fantasy setting like here you know I'm sure it'd be like oh you got to go to Grime City or something and I'll remember Grime City but then you play like a Final Fantasy and oh you have to go to Windhaven I'm like there would never be a place called Windhaven. Ever. Or else it would be like a gated community. I would never want to go there anyways. Yeah. Kind of the same with like Fallout. Like in Fallout, I will read every email, every note, every letter I find in Skyrim. I find a book. I'm not opening it. I am not reading any of that. Like, I don't know. I just can't can't follow the lore very well in fantasy games. It's just like my brain, like I'll see a name or a location and it's like my eyes will just go blurry. So I don't actually read it. It's, it's some weird medical condition. I have no idea. Some weird aversion to fantasy settings. But yeah, like any modern type RPG so yeah, so since this is a tabletop game, I'm guessing that's why my I can't hit him every time. So it's probably a dice roll. What's my karma at eight? You know, we'll get our karma to ten. I'm I'm enjoying this. And if if you just want to see me get to the end, which I think this whole video will probably just be goosing. And I know some people don't like that, but I mean I've gotta I've gotta level up. 
and I don't want to do it all off camera because I don't know. I mean, it's this is part of the it's part of the fun, and someone might see this and they enjoy goosing as much as I do, and they'll be like, "Oh, I want to play that game," and I maybe a little early on, but I think you should. I I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Which I need to pay attention. I'm gonna <laughs> right, die again. But yeah, Shiny Force, I'll play that forever. Everyone says Shiny Force 2 is amazing. I need to get back to that. I had started Shining Force or Shining in the Darkness on his channel, and it's fun. Like I enjoy it, but it's one of those dungeon crawlers, and you try to keep track of where I am in this maze of a dungeon and fight enemies and talk and like keep track of time and everything it's yeah it was I don't know so I as of the recording of this I have not finished Shining in the Darkness but I want to because I don't want to abandon any game just yet especially a game that I enjoy yeah it's just not really conducive to this style like I, I can't can't concentrate on anything so yeah I just have to I don't know, it might just end up being like just a general walkthrough, like heavily edited and with just voiceovers talking about it, because yeah, I just can't do it with that. But I like it. I like Shining in the Darkness, but it's way different than Shining Force. I like Shining Force better. Like that turn-based style. And Shining Force, like it was it was very forgiving. Like if your whole team died, you still kept all the experience that you got up to that point. Oh, I mean, that was awesome. Again, that helps me. That would have helped me in this game. <laughs> uh, I wasn't paying attention and I died, kind of like I could possibly do now. Okay, so first we'll do our... Use our karma. So, what did I say? So, my body is at... So I'm not going to get my body to 7 this time, but... Yeah, but I... I do need to raise my my body. Well, let's see, can I get it to Oh my body's at six. I just need just need four more karma to Yeah, I just need four more karma to get me to regenerate. I you know what? I'm gonna do it. My channel. I will do whatever the hell I want. Oh shit. Damn it. I keep forgetting I can't hit him there. I can hit the other guy when he's half on the screen. Yeah, I can't hit, hit that dude for some reason. Here, if I go over here, then I should be able to hit everybody. Yeah, the... Heavy dudes have a lot of hit points. And the mages, yeah, I love that mages just wearing suits. Like, I didn't realize I wanted that. I want an RPG where mages wear suits. Okay, so yeah. It... Oh yeah, and apparently you just have, all your guns have unlimited ammo. Also love that. Yeah, like, as I'm... Playing this, like, why wasn't there a Shadow Run 2 besides the multiplayer first person shooter? Which I need to see if there's any way to play that again, because it was fun. Actually, the game I need to play is probably Cyberpunk. Like, I heard it sucked when it first came out, but they've. They've fixed it, and yeah, I. Apparently, I like this style of game. But yeah, I, I'm liking this a lot, so now I can't wait to play the other three that I have. I can't believe I have them. Like, I just, like, there'll be games that I'll go to buy, I'm like, oh, that looks interesting, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I better check. And yeah, I've had it for like five years. What a time to be a PC gamer. Yeah, like I know a lot of people are like, oh no, PlayStation's better, or Xbox is better, or PC's better. They're all great. Super Nintendo's great. Sega's great. 
Hell, even the Saturn had had some good games. Like any any system, any console, any place you play games is gonna have good games. Like you can play all of them. You don't have to pick just one. Yeah, like all the console wars. Like growing up, yeah, it was always, oh, Super Nintendo's better or Sega Genesis is better. I'm like, I want both. <laughs> oh, I did. I wanted, because I had a Super Nintendo. Got it for uh, Christmas when I was 10. And oh my gosh, it was just, I loved it. I loved everything about it. But then like my buddy had a Sega Genesis and I would go over there and play that. And it was also awesome. And man, I wanted one so bad. And the game that really made me want a Sega Genesis was Hunting starring Guy. I saw that in a video game magazine, and the graphics were just... Yeah, I am i am a graphics whore, through and through. I mean, not so much anymore. I was back then, and it kind of peaked, like, around the Super Nintendo <laughs> graphics era. Then, you know, you get to, like, uh, PlayStation and N64, and yeah, those graphics just suck. They don't hold up. And now, and, like, even now... Something would be like, oh, it's amazing graphics. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really care about that anymore. I am a 16-bit graphics whore. Okay, so just two more. But yeah, Haunting starring Guy, And I still to this day have not played it. But yeah, it just looked so amazing. And oh man, I would just... I would just read that review of it over and over and over again. And actually, at the time that that came out, it wasn't the Sega Genesis that I wanted. There was... What was it called? Like the Mega... Mega something? Not the Mega Drive, but it was... It had... You could play the regular Genesis games, and then it also had the CD attachment to it. I don't think it was the Sega CD. I thought the Sega CD was just was just the Sega CD. Or was it? I don't know. It had both. Whatever that one was. I wanted that. Still kind of do. But yeah. But sadly, never got one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, kid from northern Indiana. You can't have a Sega Genesis and a Super Nintendo. And then after the Super Nintendo, I just switched to PlayStation for a while anyways. Went back to Sega for the Saturn. Finally got my Sega console, and yeah, I I sold it not too not too long after. I mean, it, it was. I wish I hadn't. I wish I still had that thing just for nostalgia purposes. But, I mean, it was it was it was decent. It had. I just don't. I think Sega was just on the way out by that point. And then I also had the Dreamcast, which also was it was good, but yeah, they just didn't put any of the time or effort into it, and then I, I don't think Sega lasts too much longer after that. And now, doesn't freaking Nintendo just own Sega? It's just weird. It's weird! But it also just goes to show you that the console wars are stupid. Because <laughs> now Nintendo has Sonic. Like, nothing matters. We'll all be dead one day. I don't know how this got dark and turned into mortality, but... Alright, so we will... Yeah, we'll just put this point into body. And so it won't regenerate because when I save my game, it will... So actually, I'm going to go get shot here real quick to test out my new regeneration ability. Come on, guys. <laughs> You've been shooting me all game. All game! A guy came out of a dumpster and shot me. Like, I just want to get shot. You pieces of shit. There we go. Okay, it hasn't regenerated. Well, so it, it says... It will regenerate your stamina to, oh, to a maximum of 70 points. So, oh, I have 70 points. Here, 
Here, should I get closer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you a stormtrooper? Come on. Right in front of you. There we go. Okay, so 66. See if it... Or maybe I have to be out of combat for it to do it. Six. All right, let's see if it regenerates. Huh. Well. Okay, well, we'll have to figure that out next time, because I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. It just said it would regenerate your stamina to a maximum of 70 points. So, I don't know. So, does that just mean that when I sleep... It will, it will regenerate, like, that's just a weird way to say that, if that's true, because, just say that, like, you don't even have to say that. Like, when I save, say, it will restore all my hit points. So, I don't know. That's, uh, that's, that was weird. That's a weird way to say it. And I wish I would have spent more on my gun. But that's alright, I still like this game. I don't hate it. So yeah, we'll see you next time, and yeah.